another beautiful day to begin and this day this week is going to be super active with so much happening um, as I mentioned earlier, our annual gathering is around the corner this Saturday. So I'm going to use my Cricut Maker 3 to the most. But right now, it's breakfast time. So I thought, let me work on the cabinet grocery, trying my best to finish all that has been on the shelf for a while now. I measure in two cups of vermicelli, a very quick, tasty and easy recipe, being perfect for the busy days. With a teaspoon of ghee, I roast them on a medium flame until they change colour. Now the main ingredient for this recipe is fresh ginger which makes a huge difference in the taste with its strong flavour. I am using an inch for just two of us. And it has been snowing a lot with freezing temperatures. This will be a perfect super hot breakfast to enjoy. With a tablespoon of oil, mustard seeds, a teaspoon of chana dal and urad dal and handful of cashew nuts that I have split in half. Two green chilies, an inch of grated ginger, one medium onion cut lengthwise and a bowl full of plum tomatoes. I sprinkle in some salt and cover it up to be softened faster. In the meantime, I'm using this particular grater. Uh, it's the peeler wherein you get the vegetable into noodle shape like spaghetti. Uh, Corchit works the best but I thought let me give a difference today to the cucumber as well and it worked alright to be honest. I've got thin long strips. I add in salt. Uh, with the help of two forks, I combine it uh, nicely. Now to this, to tweak this recipe, I served slightly different from the usual, making it interesting. A very simple tarka with just a teaspoon of oil, mustard seeds and urad dal. It's a super easy salad to make and all you need is just a few ingredients. The tomatoes are nicely softened. I measure in 8 cups of water for 2 cups of vermicelli. Allow me to come to a good boil and then I add in 1 eighth teaspoon of turmeric, salt to taste, grated coconut and roasted vermicelli. I cover it up so that vermicelli gets cooked faster and thoroughly, finishing it off by adding in coriander leaves and lime. This recipe can be easily included on a weekday, work day. Um, it's that easy and fast. But make sure to add in good generous amount of fresh ginger. Uh, serving a teaspoon of yogurt in the bowl that you can combine with the cucumber uh, while eating. <laughs> After a very good breakfast, I'm going to a friend's house later in the evening. So I'm quickly going to make a crispy snack with Rice Krispies. In a pan with around a tablespoon of oil, mustard seeds, handful of almonds, which is badam. Handful of cashew nuts, which is gorambe. Making sure they turn crunchy. And then adding in a handful of pumpkin seeds, a handful of raisins, and I turn off the flame. And now I add in two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder, salt to taste, adding in the masala with just nuts. After thoroughly combining the whole, I felt I could have added in peanuts and putani, which is dariyadar. So I make another tadka with peanuts and dariyadar. This recipe tastes good when there are lots of nuts. So I have added lots more with a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder and salt. Now many a times when we have an invitation to visit a friend uh, to their home, we normally take a bouquet, a bunch of flowers 
or a flower pot which will last for long or a chocolate box you know uh, but then now I have started to feel this is what everyone else is also going to get uh, including me so thought of making a change in the thought by making something fresh at home that I can pack for them um, this time I bought this glass jar with a lid from IKEA uh, that they can use regularly at home in the kitchen cabinet or in the fridge or the freezer and tell me who wouldn't like to have a new set of glass container in the kitchen I mean I would love to have one for myself um, so now I thought let's make it more interesting using my Cricut Maker 3 which will be uplifting uh, given anything I choose a very simple pattern on my Cricut app and I have measured the lid size uh, to get the right measurement of the pattern. Now this is what I have picked, two different colors of permanent smart vinyl, uh, which look like a great combination to me, uh, one in mint and the other one is white. So here are the two patterns that I will be using, uh, one the base to be uh, in mint. So I place the mint smart vinyl first to be cut into the desired shape. And place the permanent white vinyl for a very intricate design. And I just love to capture the moment when the Cricut Maker 3 works to share on my Instagram stories. The pattern cut in white vinyl on the top. This looks so good. Uh, now the idea here is that my friend she could use the lid as a ready rangoli pattern for any of the pujas or as a decoration piece during the Diwali to light up the ass. There is still plenty of time for the girly gathering so I thought let me work on the board that we will be needing for our dance performance. Uh, there are four different segments for the retro to metro themed dance. Uh, the one which me and Santosh are taking part is the Eastman era for which I thought the cricket team will be the best to use in creating a very colorful board. So here is my idea that I am using yellow colored sheet onto the standard grip cutting mat. To get the alphabets cut, Cricut app has so many fonts that we can choose from and also can adjust the font size which gives so much of liberty into making anything look neat and clear. I have used the color yellow mainly for the alphabets as the Eastman color then was kind of like the strong colors during the sunset. That, that was the feel that I used to get when I had uh, watched a few movies as a child. Uh, now making any kind of school projects presentations becomes all easy with the help of Cricut Maker 3. And then I used different colored paper in getting the circles like spots which was so easy and quick and accurate making life all easy for me. It wouldn't have been the same if I, ha I would have used a scissor um, to sit and cut each and every circle. Now that I have everything ready, time to finish making the board. Um, I had a big piece of cardboard, nice and strong, that Sanika painted it in black uh, so that everything is more clearly visible when on stage. Now, with the theme being Eastman era, I placed the letters uh, not exactly in the center, but this way. Uh, the outlook of the board varies on how you place the alphabets. So try different ways and see what best you can showcase and I placed the circles all over the board. This, uh, this was the era when colors started on screen from black and white. Hence, I've used different colors highlighting and connecting to the theme. I have glued all of them onto the board and today we have the dress rehearsal a week before the big day. So I thought it will be just right to take uh, it to the practice session. I finished it just on time. I'm very happy and pleased with the way it's turned out. Now, I'm all ready to go for the girly gathering and this is what we can do using the lid like a rangoli pattern. After a very busy day, it's time to sit and relax with friends. Um, 
Now the following day I straight away started making another board for my friend who loved the board that I made for the Eastman era. Uh, now she belongs to the millennium era. So here is my thought. Now to match the theme I have chosen this very simple flower on the Cricut app and have used a nice beautiful blue fabric onto the fabric cutting mat to get the flowers cut. Now this is the beauty of Cricut Maker 3 which helps you to cut even fabric into your desired shape. I have big and cute tiny little flowers as well. <coughs> now to match with the blue I have also got yellow fabric cut into flowers. And here is another same sized board that I am using with a gorgeous holographic gift wrapping paper. Holographic because it is the latest in trend that would make it more suitable for the millennium theme. Um, so using this as a background, I have sealed it with the help of a cellophane. And now that I have these flowers, blue and yellow combination, which will be beautifully seen on the stage and match on the board as well. I used two flowers, one above the other, folded it into quarters, giving it a stitch to hold the shape and when opened it becomes into a flower this way with all the flowers now ready i place them uh, making them look beautiful on the right hand top corner i used hot glue to fix and now i have told my friends once the event is done she can easily take these flowers out and use them as wall decoration or to uplift any of the photo frames at home or just place on the gift boxes for birthday parties. This way I covered the bottom left hand corner in the same pattern. Now to get the wording millennium written on the board, I have this great collection of different colors of smart vinyl that I prefer to choose black color for it to be visible and clearly seen. I use a scale uh, to get a straight line when placing the letters on board. Cricut Maker 3 helps in getting the fonts cut neatly which gives a huge difference in the outlook and this is the board that I created for Millennium Era. And straight away I sat down to make the disco themed board for which I thought I should make a guitar shaped board. Um, now, now that's going to be a little challenging but I found it really interesting because it was challenging. Um, thinking of how and what to do next um, and I took it step by step. Uh, no, I almost tried 20 attempts or so, you can see the lines so clearly, uh, to get the shape right but was struggling and uh, I was happy on one side but it wasn't the same, I wasn't able to get it symmetrical on the other side as well. So this is what I did, I used a knife to cut this part of the guitar which I was happy about, in which way I will have the density opened and then I placed a piece of paper over it and using a pencil to trace it in which way I will have the exact mirror reflection shape on the other side as well making it look perfect. Now seriously I am not very good at drawing freehand but there is always a knack of getting it right isn't it. Finally I managed to get a guitar shape cut. Just a very small strip cut for the extended bit of the guitar uh, that I am going to paint in black. I then used pink glitter paper to decorate the guitar as it would be a little girl holding the guitar for the disco thing. I am going to glue the hole to get the paper on. I honestly worked the hole step by step visualizing and thinking what next and it worked pretty good. I painted the sides with black paint making it look more neat and tidy. I always save up bits and pieces that are left cutting and here is a strip of gold vinyl that I can uh, 
used to decorate uh, creating the lines on the guitar for which I use the Cricut Portable Trimmer to get the precise and smooth paper cutting for a huge range of projects. Now to get the right measurement for each strip, I place it onto the line to get equal lines. I use a gold glitter paper using a cup to get a circle cut and then use a black vinyl with a smaller circle that I place on top. This is turning out already so good that this guitar once completed can be used as wall decoration in kids room and also um, a great idea for fancy dress competition for kids. To be honest, I myself realized about the things that will be needed as I worked along uh, step by step. And here I cut a piece in block that came in as packing material that I have covered in black paper and then I pressed the corners giving it a square finish. Securing it tight with strong adhesive. Now the most important bit is the writing disco for which I have used golden glitter paper with a font in Billion Dreams making it look really cool. Now here I have uh, Santosh cufflinks that I am going to place here right on top to hold the strings firm. Um, now using the Cricut tool to, to pierce and make a hole. Um, this is the beauty of using your brain to work hard with all the things that you have at home and then uh, lastly I use this block to be sealed with blue tack. I used toothpicks to hold the alphabets with the help of the cello tape and toothpicks creating the tuners as well. I have used uh, my girls rubbers. So pleased with the way it's turned out, neat, perfect for home decoration as well. I'm going to make a super quick dinner, um, nutty rice with creamy coconut curry in bell pepper baskets with three carrots, handful of beans, four potatoes, one big onion, in a pot with a teaspoon of oil and a teaspoon of ghee, adding in mustard seeds, onions, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. chopped veggies and a whole tin of coconut milk. Basmati rice that I have washed, pressure cooking it with salt and water. Setting the air fryer to preheat for 5 minutes time, adding in frozen corn and peas and very little of water. Emptying the seeds to create a cup, I am going to smear oil onto them before setting in the air fryer. Then in a teaspoon of kasuri methi, 1 eighth teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of green chilli paste, salt to taste and just 
quarter teaspoon of garam masala as we want the coconut flavor to be nice and strong than the garam masala. With a tablespoon of ghee in a pan, cumin seeds, green chilies, pumpkin seeds, raisins and rice. A little treat in creating a dish like this makes everyone happy at home. It was quite a filling and tasted brilliant with uh, roasted papad. I really hope you found this video useful in creating something as simple as this with whatever is at home for decorating home.